So, here I am, sitting on the chair, on a lazy Sunday afternoon. She's taking a nap after a sort of a house cleaning pot a geist possessed her today. She deserves some rest after that. And me? I'm sitting on the chair, doing some thinking, like how much I would love to get her a new phone. This one's getting old, but she wouldn't admit it. I'd love her to have the best phone in the world, with curved screen and stereo speakers. And nice camera, so she can take photos of our boys. I would love to get her everything, actually. Anything she'd like. But it's all so expensive, really. I can't remember the last time I bought myself a new pair of trousers. But no matter how much I think, it's always worth it this, living with her, being a part of her life, watching her grow for all these years, watching her suffer and rejoice and cry and smile, despite her problems with the disorder, and despite what she likes to say about herself, that she's useless and so stagnated. I believe that she's always moving. Always shifting. In between her good days and bad days, and good thoughts and bad thoughts. She's never really stopping in that walk on the line. And um, walking the line between life and death might be a bit tiring. I suppose. I just may be writing a love letter to her. How, oh, how much she likes to sleep. She relishes in sleeping. She's a sleeping monster. Sometimes she just has this look on her face while sleeping, this innocent, pure smile. Like she's eternally satisfied. Definitely my favorite of hers. She's all my favorite. She's my favorite friend, my favorite hot water bottle in the night. My favorite piece of art to look at. She's all worth it. She's worth working day and night, as in the Michael Jackson song. We may not always have the money for everything we need. Mm. Well, we almost never do. And we don't live in a shiny castle, but um, that's that dream for me. And now I'm sure of what I'm actually doing. I'm writing a love letter.
living with her is like stepping into deep white. It's stepping into the brightest of lights. Something so huge. So overwhelming that you can't take it in at the beginning, but when you stop fearing and open your eyes, you see what deep white really is. It's all the colors. All of the best and worst things in life in the exact same moment. Every second bumps into one small body. Blending, twisting, mixing together. Or taking a nap. On the couch. By her love. On a lazy Sunday afternoon. Now a thought occurs to me. This isn't a love letter. This is a love film. She said that she's afraid I'm not gonna succeed in becoming a professional artist because not everyone who is talented does and she believes me to be really talented somehow. But you know what, Ali? Having you by my side, I really don't care. I really do have nothing without you. I can't wait to share my whole life with you. It's gonna be scary and awesome. I won't be proud of anything that happens in my life. Calling you my wife? Is there something more incredible? That's something absolutely worth working day and night for. Maybe someday I'll be able to get you a new phone or a new pair of trousers. You're my favorite piece of the universe.
Yes. I bought her the new pair of trousers. <laughs> 